Okay, friends, so now we're going to pick up where we left off and talk about seed dispersal. So, even though ants play a very minimal role in pollinating plants, they are some of the most uh, important disperse dispersers of plant seeds. So much, so much so, in fact, that there's even a word dedicated to seed dispersal by ants, and that word is myrmecophory. Um, and harvester ants and many other species of ants feed on seeds, which might not seem like a good thing for the plants. However, um, several species of plants benefit on this arrangement. So, um, or benefit from this arrangement. So they'll produce a hard shell, which ants are unable to crack. And they'll also produce lysosomes or food bodies that are specifically found on seeds that have chemoattractants in them which stimulate the ants to come and collect the seeds. The ants will then carry the seeds back to their nest and they will eat the, some of the lysosomes themselves and, and they'll also feed them to the ant larvae. Once the lysosomes are all consumed, the ants will then either discard the seeds in their refuse pile because ants like to keep their nests nice and neat and tidy um, and or they'll keep them in their, in their nests. And these environments, the refuse pile has a lot of other good nutrients in them. Um, the nests of the ants are, you know, underground. These will provide the ant, or the seeds that will, the right environment for the seeds to germinate. So here are examples of different seeds that have lysosomes on them. So you can see um, they can look very different from species to species of plant. Um, sometimes they're kind of gooey looking like that. Um, sometimes they're a little, you're just found, you know, near the tip instead of being found along the whole length of the seed. Um, these lysosomes are nice and bright and orange. And then these ones here again are kind of gooey looking and, um, and are gelatinous and are kind of around the edge of the seed. So um, plants will also f provide homes for ants. Um, so these are really, really cool mutualisms between ants and plants as well. Um, domachia are, means little houses, and these are hollow stems or tubes, tubers or swollen petioles or thorns that um, plants produce and that are used by ants for either feeding or their nest sites. Um, so shown over here is the aptly named bull's horn acacia plant. So you can see that the thorns on this plant really do look like the horns of a bull kind of coming out and a little bit hooked. So these horns are hollow and you can see that the ants and their swollen petioles on the plant um, and the ants will come in through there by the hole in there and they'll make their little nests in those cavities. Um, Myrmecophytes are ant loving plants and they produce these domachia and oftentimes these are trees or shrubs or vines that grow in the understory of tropical lowland rainforests. And in these environments, conditions are perfect for lots of plants to grow. Um, so it's get, so growing for a plant means that you're gonna have a lot of competition. So the plants kind of co-opted the ants to serve as their bodyguards to remove all of the other plants that might encroach on their space and try to steal their nutrients for them. So the, the in exchange for, for, you know, letting the ants guard their space, the, the plants will provide not only homes for the ants, but also some food for them. Um, so they have things called extra floral nectaries, which are um, other petioles found here on the base of the leaves that the ants can drink out of. So they get a lot of you know delicious sugar water nectar from there. And they will also produce Belgian food bodies, which are shown here on the edge of these um, leaves, those kind of like orange things. And they are um, a nice, another nice source of, of sugar, but also of amino acids that the ants need to make their proteins. So, um, like I said, the ants benefit. You know, that the ants are clearly benefiting because they get home food, yeah, food and housing. How nice! Um, but the plants benefit because the ants defend them from herbivores, other things that might try to eat them, and also the ants provide the plants with mineral, mineral nutrition from their plant waste, or from the ant waste. So every time that the ants are, you know, peeing or pooping, all of those nutrients from their excrement are, you know, easily accessible to the plants and that can also help them grow. 
So um, other organisms try to steal these delicious belts and bodies, such as this cute little jumping spider, and sometimes species of ants that are not um, the mutualists, and the ants will chase them away and just keep them from consuming them. Okay, so this concludes chunk number three. Hope you enjoyed it.